Rules relating to ghusl, shrouding, praying for, and burying a dead person. It is obligatory to perform ghusl on, shroud, pray for, and bury a Muslim when he dies. This obligation is called kifai, which means that before being done, it is obligatory on everyone, but after being done, it is no longer obligatory. One must get permission from the dead person's guardian for these things. Ghusl of a dead body. It is obligatory to wash the dead body three times in the following order. First, with water that has been mixed with cider leaves. Second, with water that has mixed with camphor. And third, with plain water. The amount of cider in camphor has to be in a way that people say that the water has been mixed with camphor and cider, and at the same time they don't say that the water is no longer pure and has turned to mixed water. The person who is performing the ghusl must be a moment, sane, and has reached puberty. He must also know the rulings related to ghusl and have the intention of seeking closeness to Allah. The ghusl of the dead body is performed in the same way as other ghusls, but according to most scholars, irtamasi is not allowed unless tartibi ghusl is not possible. Hanut. It is obligatory to perform hanut after the ghusl. Hanut means to rub fresh powdered camphor over the seven places of sajda. The seven places of sajda are the forehead, the palms, knees, the tips of the big toes. Rules relating to shrouding. After performing the ghusl in hanut, one must shroud the body with three pieces of cloth. The first is called me'azar, which is from the belly button to the knees. The second is called akamis, which is from the shoulders to the middle of one's shanks. And the third is called izar, which is an overall piece. It should be long enough to tie at both ends and wide enough that when wrapped around the corpse, the two sides overlap. The shroud must be halal and not usurped. It must not be too thin in a way that it reveals the body, or najis, or from an animal that is haram to eat. The Prayers for the Dead Prayers must be performed for all Muslims who have died after reaching puberty and for children aged 6 and above whose parents are Muslim. While performing the prayer, the body of the dead person should be in front in a way that his head is on the right side of the person praying and his feet are on the left side. Also, the dead body should not be placed higher than the person praying. One may perform the prayer for the dead without making wudu, ghusl, and while wearing Najis clothes or even while his body is Najis. If the prayer is performed in congregation, the followers must recite the takbirs and the supplications as well. The last part is that if a person is buried, we realize that his or her prayer has it been done properly, if done at all, it is obligatory to perform the prayer on the grave. The prayer for the dead has five takbirs and should be performed in the following manner. After the intention and the first takbir, one should say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa anna muhammadar rasulullah. After the second takbir, Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ali muhammad. After the third takbir, Allahumma ghfir lil mu'minina wal mu'minat. After the fourth takbir, if the dead person is a man, the following should be recited. Allahumma ghfir lihadha al-mayyid. But if it is a woman, the following should be recited. Allahumma ghfir lihadhi al-mayyid. And after the fifth takbir, the prayer comes to an end. The last part is that if a person is buried, we realize that his or her prayer has it been done properly, if done at all. It is obligatory to perform the prayer on the grave, burying the dead body. 
After the dead body is prayed over, it must be buried in a way that its odor cannot get out and scavengers won't be able to dig the body out. The dead body must be placed on its right side with the face facing the Qibla. If part of the body has been detached, it is obligatory to bury it with the body. This includes hairs and fingernails. It is not permissible to bury the body in a serped land or any place that has been made waqf for purposes other than burying the dead, such as a masjid or a place that could be considered disrespectful. It is not permissible to bury a Muslim in a non-Muslim cemetery or vice versa. One important point is that the funeral procession has many rewards but it should not be spoiled by inappropriate actions that are against the decrees of Allah. For example, unthankfulness, being impatient, backbiting, etc.